We've never seen our dogs get attacked like that before. Well, this was one wild encounter. Police officers forced to pull out their guns and shoot a bobcat after it attacked a family's two dogs. As WBZ's Ken McLeod shows us from the town of Barrie tonight, the bobcat even went after police. Brushes with wild animals are certainly not extraordinary in this part of the state, but Barry police had no idea when they answered a 911 call about a bobcat that it would end in gunfire. <coughs> Beckett and Bella were both full of tail wagging barks this evening, just 24 hours after they were attacked in their lane road yard by this bobcat. It felt like it lasted forever. Indeed, it was Julia Erickson who first heard the snarling and yelping and spotted the cat clawing and biting Beckett, a Bernese mountain dog, three times its size. If it was a sick cat, they'd pretty much attack anything. The Ericksons managed to get their dogs inside when the frothing bobcat ducked under the porch, and that's where it was when police arrived in the driveway. And then in just a split second, it closed that distance. In fact, the two cops barely had time to draw their guns before the bobcat was lunging toward them head high and the chief shot it dead in self-defense. You know, it's unfortunate we've got to put an animal down, um, but, you know, something was definitely wrong with it. Most everyone suspects the cat was rabid and the dog's minor wounds meant an extra rabies booster shot for each. It could have been a lot worse. We'd rather live in the woods than in the city. The Ericksons are certainly accustomed to seeing wildlife here in the woods of central Massachusetts. But to have one this close to the house, attacking the dogs, it's a little freaky. Freaky and quite the conversation starter at school. It's a story to be told. The bobcat's head is now undergoing rabies testing at the state lab in Jamaica Plain. The dogs will be spending the next 45 days in house quarantine. In Barry, Ken McLeod for WBZ News.